The Tarpon Bay 19 has an overall length of 18 feet 7 inches, a beam of 7 feet 7 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 175. Designed with the Avid Angler in mind, she has a draft of 10 inches, a dead rise of 14 degrees, a weight of 1,850 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 39 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Today we're looking at a new boat, Tarpon Bay 19. Now this is a new company, not only for best boat, but a new company. What's already got my eye really intrigued, George, is this bow. And let's talk a little bit about this bow design. We've seen this before, and this is a design that you're seeing a lot more of on the water, and the owner of this company has got a history of building racing sailboats for America's Cup and Volvo Offshore Boats. He's built championship racing boats for years prior to doing this, and I'm happy we're gonna get a chance to see how this thing runs and do a little kind of performance shakedown of this very unique design. Being that I'm a mother, the first thing I do when I get on a boat is how much storage do I have? How much can I bring on the boat? Up at the bow, we have a large anchor locker. And right after that, there's a large storage compartment for all your bags and dry items. Back here, we have three large 30 gallon boxes. Now, George had mentioned earlier that the boat was filled with foam. Well, because of that, these boxes now are now insulated. So they can be plumbed for live wells. So you have three live wells. I look at it as I've got three coolers up here now. I can have a drink box for the kids, a food box, and then of course the adult beverage box over here and keep everything separate. In front of the console is a Yeti cooler seat, which comes standard with the boat. So you still get your cooler space. Now it's a pretty bold move to undertake building a really unique design into a really saturated market. Now, the Tarpon Bay 19, if we're gonna look at how well they did with this design, we have to address two different things. One of them is gonna be fishability, because it's new to the fishing market, and the second thing is gonna be performance. Well, I'm here to tell you, we put this boat through its paces today. We've had the boat inside all over the shallow water, fishing the mangroves, fishing around, you know, inside fishing, but where it really shines and where this hull design really stands out is to get offshore on a day like today. We went through the inlet in very choppy conditions with the outgoing tide. And right off the bat, what did you notice? First thing for me was this boat can take a beating. I mean, this is a solid running boat. We've done a lot of running around and this boat can take it. When we went out the inlet and that was starting to go down in that chop and I'm going, ah, can we get out today? I looked at you and I said, wow, I cannot believe the stability of this boat, 19 foot, and it being a bay boat, super impressed. And I think that's where it comes into play with the, you said about the foam that gets infused inside. Explain to me a little yeah, bit more about let's, that. Let's talk about construction on the Tarpon Bay 19. Okay, this is a resin infused, bagged, composite, cord put together, solid boat. They take every bit of dead air space underneath the cap before the cap goes on, and they add expandable foam into that space and it fills up and makes the boat, one, unsinkable, and two, it fills every void, so that's why you feel like this boat feels super solid. The boat jumps quickly out of the hole, it got up on plane in just a couple of seconds, and from a performance standpoint, the way we ran, we were doing some pretty aggressive turns offshore, and I mean, everything I threw at this boat, it took it in spades. Now we've determined that this hull design is gonna really be a practical boat for this venue, fishing, inshore and offshore, it's gonna check the boxes that you want it to, but does it fish? Absolutely, the boat is laid out like your standard bay boat, flat boat style fishing boat, but there's some key things that we should address here. Obviously live wells, I'm a big fan of carrying it, and we've got three 30 gallon wells here in the deck. They've added a power pole to this model and a trolling motor, which are very useful. As you can see, we're just stemming the tide with the spot locked on and a bunch of bait catching a couple of nice snook here up against some mangroves. But more importantly with the Tarpon Bay 19 is the amount of space they've given you on the boat to walk around in. I've caught a couple of fish here and had to maneuver around the boat and there's plenty of room to do so. The gunnels are wide enough to go up and down without really losing your balance. But what separates this boat from a few others that I can think of are the amount of space that you've got to walk through in the cockpit as a result of the little bit of extra beam they've added into this boat. The versatility of this boat has proven itself a couple of different times today. We've been able to get offshore, go out the inlet and fish in the ocean, run in the ocean, look around in the inlet, 
We're back in the Intracoastal Waterway in some creek kind of water, and we've been on the sandbar, and now here we are. And in several different venues, the boat really was comfortable to fish out of, and it did well in each of them. From the fishability standpoint and the performance standpoint, the Tarpon Bay 19 far exceeded my expectations today. I just had so much fun on this boat today, George, and it proved you guys had to like say, reel it in, Lori, it's time to go. I didn't want to get off the boat. She rode great and super fun to fish on. For sure, I'd like more time on this boat myself. Tarpon Boat Works has got a couple of other models in the pipeline, and based on how this boat performed today, I'm really curious to see what they bring us next.